Hello, I'm Lisa Utronke with La Pache Media. There's been a lot of discussion around the unwanted behaviors at the skate park at Center Wakefield La Pache. After an article was published quoting Elijah Olizinko, I wanted to follow up with him and I wanted to get to the real root problem. Elijah was very open to discuss with me and we discovered it was skate park etiquette that is not being followed or possibly not being learned by the young skaters and scooters. Skate park etiquette are the unspoken rules around a skate park. You won't see them posted on a sign. However, the skate park etiquette is really important. It's important for respect and especially for safety. It's very important for kids and parents to know these ahead of time. So together with Elijah Olizinko, Morley Hodgson, and Annika Whitney, we put together a piece to explain some of the basic skate park etiquette. Skateboard etiquette is important because it helps keep you safe, it keeps the park safe, it'll keep people happy with you and it won't get anybody mad, and it just leads to a better environment at the park where nobody's mad, the park is clean, and people are more safe than if there was no etiquette at all. Oh, the first one is you're going to want to wait your turn and look around before you go. If you just go non-stop, it's going to lead to a lot of snaking. You want to avoid getting in people's way and look where you're going before you drop in because that'll avoid you snaking people and getting in their way and it'll also avoid you getting hurt by getting in someone's way. So we're here to talk about respect um, for the skate park and the riders and everybody that's at the skate park because it's really important to respect like others and to be kind to everybody because otherwise everybody kind of gets mad and stuff and, and you always have to clean up your garbage around the skate park because it's used by a lot of people and you know it's always nice to come to like you know it's not just full of trash and everything. And, There's a lot of features at the skate park, so it's best to ask before you move them. If you plan on waxing any of the features, ask people first if it's okay, or just wax your board. If you see any rocks on the skate park, make sure to kick them to the side, and be sure not to throw any rocks on the skate park. Another thing is you should look where you're standing before you actually settle down there because a lot of times people just stand on the features and in people's way and then people aren't going to be happy about that and you could get hurt because somebody's going to run into you. Another thing is parents, you want to watch out where you're sitting because you wouldn't want to be sitting on somebody's feature that they're trying and then getting in their way and you also might be intimidating to ask to move so then they're just going to stop trying their trick and nobody really wants that. You need to watch out where you put all your equipment and everything when you slow down at the skate park for the day because sometimes sometimes it gets in people's way and like people don't want to maybe ask you because they might be like a kid trying to do something and you might be a bit older and they feel kind of like scared or shy to ask you so kind of just be aware of kind of like what you're doing when you get there and when you're settling down and where you put your, all your equipment for, for your skate session. Don't be an ass and throw your skateboard out of anger or yell when you can't get that trick. If you're beginning at, you know, riding, doing whatever, scootering, skateboard, or biking, um, it's better to kind of like time your schedule in which you come to the skate park because if you come later in the day that's when more of like the older and better skaters will come out and start skateboarding because they're getting off work and all that and I, if like if you're beginning I would go more earlier during the day so you have less kind of like pressure to 
it can be it can be very scary when you're just beginning and you see like a lot of really good people and you, you know you don't really know how to do a lot of tricks quite yet and also so you know there's less people at the skate park right now especially during covid to maybe time out when you want to go for your session you know earlier in the day there's less people it's it's more quiet and peaceful you can probably focus on yourself a lot more than worrying about all these other people around you and all everybody you know doing a bunch of tricks and running into them and all that so it's very good to time out when you want to you know ride and stuff like that If you're practicing new tricks and on-spot tricks, maybe just don't do it in the middle of where everybody's doing a rail or just throwing down tricks because you're going to get in their way and aggravate them. So just find a nice quiet area of the skate park and that's where you can practice your little new learns and stuff. If you see someone fall off their scooter or skateboard, be sure to go ask if they're okay and not just stand there with your friends and laugh at them. There will be more to follow regarding some ideas and solutions around the unwanted behaviors, so stay tuned. I'm Lisa Utronke with Lepesh Media.